Whether it's out on the local waterways or racing in the America's Cup, you're sure to find something cruising above the water. This is Reacher, and here are nine hydrofoiling watercraft. Number nine. If you were to put the cockpit of a Formula One racer on a jet ski, you'd probably end up with a design similar to this one. Probably and similar are the key words here, as this looks like neither of those, but I don't know how else to approach it. This entry-level model from Quadrifoil is called the Q2A. It has an open-air design with a modular hull composed of a glass-reinforced plastic, which gives the vessel a dry weight of 650 pounds. The vessel sits a little over 4 feet high, measuring just over 11.5 feet long and 8.5 feet wide. The steering wheel has an integrated touchscreen display which allows control of all the basic functions as well as providing key information such as range, speed, battery power, and route mapping. In addition, it can be removed allowing it to serve as a unique key to the craft. The all-electric power system on this one is composed of two 5-point kilowatt-hour batteries which provide power to a 3.7 kilowatt outboard motor. The estimated range is 31 miles with a top speed of 18.5 miles per hour. Pricing on this one currently starts at just over $23,000. Number 8. Beneteau unveiled renderings of the Figaro 3 at the 2016 Paris Boat Show. And though foiling has yet to become a part of mainstream sailing, the radical design applied to the contemporary look of this race boat may change all that. The one design monohull measures just over 35 and a half feet in length and 11 and a half feet in width with a displacement of 6,400 pounds. This makes it slightly smaller than its predecessor, the Figaro 2. The mast tops out at just over 45 feet high with a mainsail area of 425 square feet. The manually controlled foils serve to replace the ballast tanks that were included on previous models. They function by creating a side force to supplement the keel while reducing leeway. Although they add lift, they don't allow the hull to entirely clear the water. When not needed, they can be retracted within the hull. The first batch of 50 boats will be shipping in early 2019 with a price of around $180,000. While you're trying to figure out how to mount hydrofoils on an inner tube, be sure and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all our latest videos. Number seven. This entry is reminiscent of a wooden model of a World War I seaplane that has been brought to life. But unlike other boats, this one doesn't utilize an underwater propeller. It's actually two boats in one. In its standard configuration, it employs an airplane rotor powered by a detachable 75 kilowatt Rotax 912 engine. But it can also be powered via a sail which can be swapped out in about 10 minutes. The two-seater can reach speeds up to 57 miles per hour with a top speed of about 46 miles per hour while in sailing mode. The craft measures a little over 18 and a half feet in length with a width of 24 feet. The hull is made from strips of mountain spruce that are mounted onto a plywood frame. The four hydrofoils, which are in a double V configuration, are formed from a carbon composite. The Albatross is being marketed for the luxury hydrofoil market with a limited edition first production of only 12 units. The company plans to produce approximately 20 units per year after that. Due to the high-end quality of each handmade vessel, the pricing has been estimated to be near $200,000. Number six. This addition to the Moth class was designed as a vessel for racers ranging from beginning to advanced with emphasis on the shortcomings of other vessels currently in production for the same class. The bulk of the vessel, such as the centerboard, rudder box, and foils, is composed of aluminum with the hull built from an epoxy that hardens into a bulletproof shell. It measures 11 feet long and a little under 7.5 feet wide with a weight of 106 pounds when fully rigged. This light weight, along with the retractable foils, makes launching easier and safer as the foils can be pushed down when on the water. In keeping with the ability for usage by all skill levels, the angles of the wings are fully adjustable to provide the right amount of stability for the rider as well as providing buoyancy to allow the boat to stay upright when stopped. There are also three sail sizes ranging from 62 and a half square feet to 88 square feet. The wings can be folded to a vertical position, creating a space for the sail, mast, and boom to be placed during storage. This reduces the width to just over four and a half feet, allowing it to fit easily inside a home garage. Pricing on this one will run you $10,500. Number five. This trimaran isn't intended for the beginning sailor, but it definitely gives a beginner something to look forward to. 
The main hull measures just over 15 feet long with two detachable outriggers that seamlessly connect to bring the total beam to just under 8 feet. Each one is hand built using carbon fiber for the hull, mast, and boom, which creates a total weight of 110 pounds. The mast tops out at 20 and a half feet with a main sail just under 95 square feet. The rider has the option of using the vessel in one of two ways depending on their skill level and the conditions of the water. The standard setup uses a dagger board and lift up rudder which can be replaced with a dual foil system which allows it to reach speeds of up to 29 miles per hour. Pricing currently starts at $49,400. Number 4. This model is the smallest of the Looker line of boats, which are marketed for the commercial sightseeing industry. The aptly named boats have a glass bottom which allows passengers to see into the water below. The unique design has a passenger area in the front with an oval-shaped top glass containing round hatches that can be opened to allow natural airflow. The pilot area and steering column are located midship on the starboard side with extra passenger seating in the aft area. There's also an onboard toilet, washstand, and ice box if needed. The 320 is 31 feet in length, 11 and a half feet in width with a dry weight of 5,400 pounds. Depending on the intended usage, it can be outfitted with twin 200 horsepower engines or a single engine up to 300 horsepower with a capacity for up to 22 passengers. Pricing on this one will run you about $120,000. Number three. We didn't feel like any list would be complete without touching upon the America's Cup. This concept is the next generation of yacht intended for use in 2021 and created with the hopes of making the sport more interesting to the masses. A total of 12 crew will be needed to man the vessel. The name, AC-75, is short for America's Cup 75 class and denotes an overall hull length of 75 feet. The design is a fully flying monohull with two canting ballasted T-foils replacing the keel. During normal sailing mode, one is jutting out to the side aiding in balance while the other is underwater providing lift. One of the features is the added ability of the foils to self-right the boat in the event of a capsize. Details on this one are scarce, but a tentative date of spring 2019 has been set for the first prototypes to be tested. Number two. If James Bond owned a boat, it would be this one. The carbon fiber hull has a design reminiscent of the boats of the 1940s mixed with elements of the vehicles from that same era. Power comes from two 300 horsepower hybrid diesel engines which can propel the boat to a top speed of 46 miles per hour. When running fully electric, the top speed drops to about 12 miles per hour which reduces the fuel consumption by 20%. The boat has a length of 32 feet and a width of 11 feet which increases to 24 feet when the foils are fully extended. These allow the boat to fly almost five feet above the water while remaining immune to wave interference. Seating in the front and rear areas can accommodate up to eight passengers with a total payload of 2,000 pounds. Pricing on this one will run you about $1.1 million. So yeah, definitely a James Bond kind of boat. Be sure and let us know in the comments if you're a fan of hydrofoils and if so, which of these vessels you'd like to take for a ride. Number one. In ever-growing urban areas that have access to lakes, canals, rivers, or even the open sea, it only makes sense to employ transportation that can take advantage of these waterways. Although the concept isn't a new one, the ideas behind the mode of transportation are ever improving. This one, called the Bubble, is an all-electric water taxi that offers the efficiency of a car while having no impact on the environment. It measures just under 16 and a half feet in length and just over six and a half feet in width with a dry weight of 2,755 pounds. It can carry up to four passengers plus one pilot at a cruising speed of 13 and a half miles per hour for a range of 25 miles. Power comes from a 21.5 kilowatt hour battery array that feeds two 10 kilowatt engines. When in foiling mode, the craft flies about one and a half feet above the water while employing a fly-by-wire system that measures the position of the boat to provide balance and stability. If your goal is to be in the water taxi business, you can get started for around $165,000 per vessel. Hey guys, this is Katsy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, Make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.